A new video is showing what's going on in America. A U.S. citizen attending a Trump rally in New York was just surrounded and assaulted by multiple different people that were attending a, quote, migrant protest. This happened at the Trump rally in New York in Uniondale. And Trump supporters going into the rally they were experiencing massive protests as they walked in all right the scene was chaotic people were going back and forth and one of his supporters that were going in challenged the protesters here and this ended up in him being surrounded and assaulted so let's get into the details here really quick guys please just hit that like and hit that subscribe I'm posting multiple videos a day, keeping you guys updated on all this news here, and it just helps to get these warnings out. I appreciate that. So this happens at the Uniondale Trump rally, and this rally goer, as he was walking in, he was being antagonized, yelled at. I want you to listen to some of these chants they were chanting as people were walking in, and he started showing his flag he had a trump flag and he was showing it off and he ended up going into the crowd to talk to some people people were saying hey come over here and talk to me and he went into the crowd and things did not go well so listen to what they were chanting really quick here as people were walking in and then i will show you exactly what happened to him too after he went into the crowd to talk to people here and he got assaulted right and they kicked him out and pushed him out threw him out of the crowd right and the police were right here watching and nobody did anything so listen to this really quick and then i will show you exactly what happened this is what the chants were outside of the rallies as people were going <laughs> All right, so that's what's happening when people are going in. And this guy here was chanting back. He was saying USA and holding up a towel that says Trump. All right, he was kind of going back and forth. He's saying, hey, you're chanting. He's chanting too. He had his own chant for USA. And he ended up in the crowd, right? He went to go talk to some people here and he was surrounded and he ended up getting assaulted by this guy here, this one guy who was wearing a Harris for President t-shirt, and this was allegedly a Haitians for Harris protest. This guy was assaulting him and pushing him out of the venue and forcing him to get out. This was not law enforcement, This and the police are standing right there, and they're allowing this guy to assault this trump rally goer all right he's the guy that's in the burgundy hoodie with the harvard logo on it and he was allowed to be assaulted right in front of police officers there was another guy too that got pushed too he got pushed into this guy they both got pushed at the same time who was wearing an american flag shirt as well too right it seems like they were both over there talking to people and this guy was targeted, they threw him out, and they threw out the other guy with the American flag t-shirt. So let me know what you guys think of this down below, all right? If someone is here on an asylum claim, if this guy is a migrant, all right, they're, this is a Haitians for Harris protest here, and they're all waving Haiti flags. And if this guy was is here, right? that assaulted him, that should raise concerns. That should potentially disqualify you from any type of asylum claims if you're assaulting US citizens, at least it should. All right, I don't know if it will, because this is in New York, all right? But we will see what happens with the situation. Probably nothing, probably no charges will be filed. And when this guy was walking away, the police, was patting him on the back, the guy in the burgundy sweater. 
he was getting pat on the back by the police officer, probably saying, hey, I understand, but why didn't he do anything? All right, why are they just standing around allowing this guy to... If they needed this guy to leave and he was actually an issue, then the police should have stepped in and escorted him out there. The police are standing right there and just allowing this guy to grab him, manhandle him, and the other guy doesn't really fight back at all. He's just kind of moving with him, and he still just keeps assaulting him, all right? And the guy just is talking. So this is what is happening in our country, okay? And we don't want to see this. We don't want to see this flashpoint. We don't want chaos and civil unrest. We had a official warning in Alabama I just posted about earlier. She's warning of civil unrest from this crisis that we are dealing with, this migrant crisis. She is warning that it's reaching a tipping point. All right, let's hope things do not get to that. All right, but the escalations are rising. The tensions are rising. Things are bubbling up, boiling up. People can feel it on both sides. People are stressed and anxious. This is creating a bad situation in our country, okay, for both sides. This is not fair to anyone, all right? It's not fair to the people coming here in Springfield, the people that live there, okay? And it's not fair to the people coming here either that 20 people are living in a house, all right? Even the mayor confirms that in Springfield, there's 20 people living per house and it's jacking up the rent because everyone's paying $200 a month. Now the rent's 4K a month for a $1,000 a month house, all right? So it's not fair to anyone. Everyone is being is having pressure put on them from the situation, okay? U.S. citizens and taxpayers are having pressure put on them, having to pay for all of these increased social programs. And then we're also seeing pressure from people coming here, right? A lot of them are being exploited. They're not even in great situations. They're working at some factory or some place that's exploiting them okay or there's human trafficking going on all these things are going on that are related to this okay and the root cause needs to be fixed needs to be addressed or we're gonna see more things like this potentially in our country okay more bubble ups like this and more tensions and people out in the open clashing and colliding right so let me know what you guys think please just hit it up for me down there to help get these warnings out i appreciate that i hope you guys are staying safe and staying ready and prepared okay we've already seen all these other weird things going on at rallies political rallies political events political assassination attempts these chemical reports chemical burn reports all these weird things are happening so just be on the lookout stay safe i hope you guys have big blessings for your life and your family and i hope you have a big old blessed day